Hey everyone, this video is about the HP Prime graphing calculator, which was first introduced in 2013. The HP Prime is designed primarily for education, but it's arguably the most powerful state-of-the-art calculator on the market. And it's designed with features resembling those of a smartphone. So it's got a full color touchscreen display, downloadable apps, and a rechargeable lithium ion battery. But although it's a great calculator, as we'll see, there are some limitations that stop it from being the ultimate tool for a professional user. Physically, the HP Prime is still quite impressive. It resembles a high-end feature phone from the early 2010s, such as a Porsche BlackBerry. And if you compare it to a previous generation HP graphing calculator, like the 48G or 50G, it looks a lot more like a consumer electronics device rather than a tool for an engineer or scientist. And the Air Prime is 50 grams lighter and almost half the thickness of the 50G. Uh, the casing of the Prime is all plastic, uh, but it's quite stylish with its large 3.5 inch display, uh, its curved edges and its faux brushed aluminum keyboard backplate. Uh, and the Prime has an excellent keyboard. Uh, it has the classic uh, HP chamfered keys, uh, and they're very low travel, uh, and they have a very tactile uh, click to them. The Prime keyboard is really a major improvement over the previous generation graphing calculators, and the only downside of the keyboard are the low co contrast printing of the blue and orange functions, which can be quite difficult to read in some lighting conditions. Now, this printing has been improved in more recent revisions. And there have been two generations and five hardware revisions of the HP Prime. The original Prime used an ARM5 400 MHz processor with only 32 megabytes of RAM. And the current generation has an ARM7 528 MHz processor with 250 megabytes of RAM. The new generation, although functionally identical, can run two or three times faster. And with the HP Prime, there are four high-level navigation keys. Uh, there's the home key. Then uh, this takes the user to the home view of the calculator. This is the view where most calculations will take place. And there's also the CAS key. Uh, the CAS view is like the home view, but it also supports algebra features. The CAS view is a totally separate workspace, and you can switch between the home view and the CAS view at any time. And then there's the Apps key. Uh, this displays all the apps installed on the Prime, and selecting one of them will run the, that app. Uh, and hitting Escape uh, will return the user back to the Home or CAS view. So we'll switch back to the Home view now and talk about the basic operation of the Prime. And so the Home view is where you can evaluate arithmetic expressions such as 2 plus 3 times 4. And you can enter uh, functions within expressions like cosine. And there's a catalogue of functions that you can bring up using the suitcase key. The Prime supports single line algebraic entry and also textbook style entry. Uh, and so I'm currently in textbook entry um, and I can use the math template. Uh, and I'll pick sigma notation uh, so that we can sum over a series. So say if we wanted to sum uh, the value of n squared uh, from 1 to 10, we can enter it like so. And you can also enter vectors and matrices uh, using square brackets. Uh, and you can enter complex numbers using the I key. And you can also enter fractions using the division key. So say if I type 45 over 30 uh, and enter, uh, that will get uh, displayed as a decimal, um, but I can switch back and forth between fraction mode. And you can store functions uh, using the store soft key. The home view also supports an RPN mode for reverse polish notation. So if I switch into RPN mode, I've got now got access to a hundred level stack. Uh, and so I can enter my numbers onto the stack. 
uh, and then hit operators uh, to get applied to those numbers. Generally, if you're, if you're an RPN user, the Prime's RPN mode operates like you'd expect it to. The HP Prime also has a computer algebra system, or CASView, that is based on the open source XCAS engine. And CASView can more or less do everything that HomeView can, apart from RPN mode, and has all the algebra features you would expect. So say I could uh, expand uh, let's say x plus 4 uh, to the 5. Or I could solve a calculus problem uh, such as, let's see, I could differentiate, let's say, sine of x squared. And CASView is very intuitive and easy to use. So the Prime only has a single officially supported programming environment called Prime Programming Language or PPL. And PPL looks like Pascal, but it's essentially just basic with a slightly different syntax and it's clearly designed for education. Uh, so to view or edit a PPL program, you hit the program key and I've uh, written an, an example program that draws the Sapinski triangle, a simple fractal. Uh, so the algorithm defines three corners of a triangle and a point somewhere between them. Uh, and then there's a loop that picks a random corner and jumps halfway towards that corner and draws a point. Uh, and the program continues for 10,000 iterations. And so to the run the program, I can just hit the escape key and then run. And programs can also be invoked uh, from ex expressions uh, in the home view or or CAS view. And the Prime has a number of really powerful apps that come pre-installed. These tend to use the same navigation structure. So say if I pick the advanced graphing app, uh, I can enter an equation in symbolic view and then I can hit um, numeric view to see some example values and then switch to plot view uh, to plot the graph. And it's the same with the uh, 3D graph app. Now there's also a solve app, uh, which replicates the functionality of the famous HP solver. So in symbolic view, I can type in an equation and here I've entered the equation for the distance an object falls under gravity in time t. Uh, and I can switch to numeric view uh, and enter values for either variable and solve for the unknown. Uh, so say if I enter 200 in d, uh, I can solve for t. Uh, and it takes 6.3 seconds for an object to fall 200 meters. Or I could enter uh, time 10 seconds and then solve for d. And the Prime also has a finance app uh, which replicates the common functions of most financial calculators. So for example, I can pick the time value of money calculation and then in numeric mode, I can solve for the monthly mortgage repayments over 30 years uh, based on an interest rate of say 2.3%. And I can also plot the payments as well. So the HP Prime is a really impressive calculator that can do almost anything. It's also really intuitive and easy to use. But it's clearly designed for an educational environment and there are some trade-offs that make it non-ideal for many professional users. A big one is the lack of programming options. Ideally the Prime would support C or Assembler for low-level programming and also a serious high-level language like Python for data science and engineering. And also its RPN mode is not fully integrated with the rest of the experience and ideally it would support RPL. Uh, historically, Hewlett Packard calculators were tools used by working professionals such as scientists and engineers. And I think that certainly the Prime can be a great calculator for those users. But over the years, the calculator market has changed. And now the most state-of-the-art HP calculator is designed first and foremost for education 
and certainly the best calculator available for advanced students. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful.